feels great. You know, it's the guys been working hard all summer long, and um, it's great to see their hard work pay off. A lot of energy, uh, a lot of young guys out here, so um, a lot of excitement. Day one, though, a lot to learn. What do you accomplish between now and the time you put on pads for the first time? Well, I hope evaluation of all of our of all of our players. You know, um, some of our young guys see how they how they run around. Um, make sure that we're in condition like we need to be. You know, until we get the real football, which is pads. But a lot of mental work to make sure that we're assignment perfect and we're fundamentally sound. I was looking around at some of these assistants, guys that I've known for a long time, and thinking that uh, it's stability. This group of assistant coaches gives you stability. There aren't guys who say, I'm looking for the next coordinator's job. Yeah, I don't know if they are or not, but I, <laughs> I hope not. You know, I think we got a really solid staff. Um, yeah, I think we have a really good mix of experience, I didn't say age, experience, and youth. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so and a lot of guys who have been here before who really have a passion and care a lot about the tradition at Fresno State. And so I think it's a great mix. Coach, have you seen some of the veterans really step up into their new roles on day one of camp? Uh, excellent. You know, that, that all goes through the whole summer, you know, on, on their leadership through the summer. It was evident today on the little things, little details, you know, about reminding each other about running to the ball and ball placement, ball security, so on and so forth. To hear them coaching each other, that shows leadership. Coach, did you have kind of a welcoming message to focus them for camp, like something that you're trying to hammer home and keep their eyes on? Well, we've been meeting for about the last uh, two days, about probably about 14 hours worth of meetings. So you could pick pick an hour and try to we try to put all that in there, right? And uh, last night we had uh, the message was about it was about practice, it was about preparation, it was about passion. Uh, the three of our coaches gave those messages. Um, so, uh, but it's been full of full of information the last couple days, right? Um, especially for our young guys that haven't heard it before. So you don't get asked it every day at fall camp, let's get it out of the way. Your quarterback's back and he's got a lot of experience and a lot of prospects maybe for the future. What does Jay Kaner bring to this offense? Brings experience, brings leadership. Um, obviously he knows it inside and out. Um, he's a mentor to a lot of people. Uh, his example out here, the way he goes about his work, uh, the way he focuses even when he's not in, um, his attention to detail. Uh, everybody can watch him and learn from, from how he goes about his work. Coach, you mentioned some of the youngsters that you were looking forward to watching today. Anyone stand out in terms of their poise and their ability to hold their own in their first ever fall camp practice at the D1 level? No, no. Um, we, have, we don't have pads on. Um, you know, I'll watch the tape and see, you know, we got a lot of guys, it's our first day, right? So they're trying to learn uh, what goes on from formations to stances, new fundamentals, new techniques, uh, you know, things like that. So it's a process for the young guys for sure. Um, what is really encouraging though is their excitement, their, um, their attention, they're paying attention, they're eager, you know, so the effort is really good and that's a great starting point. How has it been meshing a big group of not only young players but transfers and junior college guys with the returners that you have? Well, it's we have 35 new new guys, right? So we have a thing called story time for all the newcomers, and there were 35 guys in there telling their story, and and it is there's a mixture of high school kids, there's a mixture of junior college kids, and there's a mixture of uh, Division One portal transfer kids. So um, there was a lot of different information that went on, obviously, um, with what their background is. Um, but it's, I think it's really good. You know, there's a lot of different levels, but still every one of them, no matter where they came from or what level, they're learning how we do it, right? So they're all making that transition. More questions for Coach? How does that number 35 compared to maybe seasons past? Is that a different, it seems like a higher number than usual. It is, yeah, that's a little bit, that's a little bit higher, you know, usually, you know, usually around 25 guys, but I think, you know, with the new rules as far as the portal and then being to replace your guys up to 85 when they leave, you can replace them. And so I think, uh, I think that's really helped. Um, but yeah, 35 is a big number. Coach, you had a small group of players not participating today. Are there any long-term concerns injury-wise going into the camp? No, there's a couple that we're just waiting on. Um, a couple new guys we're just waiting on for compliance as far as just getting their their last transcript in. 
Um, and then we got a couple guys that are just still mending over some injuries. Some guys will be out most of the year. A couple of them, Arsenal probably will be out for most of the year, um, depending on how the recovery goes. But um, but yeah, he's long term for sure. The rest of them, I think, are either day to day or week to week. Coach, I know you're not making it about you, but what did today feel like for you, and what was your motivation when you got up today? Oh man, it was it was awesome. I you know got out of bed with a little bounce in my step, and just being around here now every day. Not that it wasn't before, but you know when when you think you're never going to do it again, then you have another opportunity. You know, you really. I really feel blessed and fortunate to be here and to be around these coaches, around these players, and to represent the university. So just uh, excited to be out here every single day.